Hello, one and all. Um, so, I'm going to explain the different ways you can play this game. Uh, so, firstly, it has to be decided as a group, just regardless of what mode you're going to play in, as to what kind of theme your group is going to have. It's not just a case of you just take everything off the classes. You, either you, you're going to go for like a, a frontier colonists type story that you're going to tell, a space truckers type story you're going to tell, or a colonial marines type story. Then interspaced in between all of that you get the company reps, because they're a huge part of the universe, right? And just to sort of get in between the two modes of play, campaign play is the kind of thing where you'd you'd play over a number of sessions that could be you know a few or very very long uh, you'd design a character yourself choose their class uh, distribute the skill points yourself choose a talent out of those available to you you know, roll the dice roll for your money do all the different things and choose your weapon if there's options of which weapon choose your item so you'd choose all those things, and then during play, you know, you'd have a little get together um, with the GM and decide. Oh well, you know, well at the end of the session, did I um, did I manage to do fulfil this criteria, that criteria? Each one is an experience point. Every five experience points, you get to level up a skill or a talent. But again, even that happens if you've got access to someone that could. Uh, help teach you that skill or, or, or talent so there's a another change there from like the normal mutant system that we've we've been used to playing that's campaign play pretty much what you'd expect it's longer more of a slow burn what I'm going to start with in my campaign is cinematic play there are a couple of one shots provided there's a one shot in here uh, that picks up a group inside Hadley's Hope and it being cinematic play it means that you get a bunch of pre-gen characters and you can hand them out to the players and they have everything laid out ready to go they never level up unless the GM wants to say after oh any survivors sure I guess you could go on and take them on into campaign play kind of they're your character so monomer cinematic mode the, the difference is that it's usually just a one shot. Who knows, you know, it could stretch to two sessions if if um, uh, people take their time particularly and, you know, really intensify the atmosphere. Because it's a very atmospheric setting after all, right? Um, so cinematic play, you don't gain experience specifically unless you were going beyond the realms of it just being cinematic play. Cinematic play, you know, it's a... It's a story all in one in that one session usually and that's it it's done you don't need to come back to the characters anymore uh, it's also kind of that fast and furious kind of thinking for playing characters because it's easy to die in this universe if you do lose a character the GM could just switch you over to maybe one of the NPCs and you can just carry on playing them if there happens to be an NPC available for the um, for the role so that's cinematic play. I'm going to kick off with that to give people like a, and myself, a chat. I'm not ready to design a whole campaign for this yet, and there aren't modules for campaigns for doing this, but you know, there's several one shots. There's cinematic play, and those are good. Alien's good in cinematic play. So those are the ideas, and they're all played within the key themes here, as introduced in the book. And you know, I use this book as prompts and put it into my own words a little bit and try and explain it from my own experience as a player and a GM. Space horror, so it's all the things that come with that, with it being space horror genre. Um, uh, they, they describe it quite well, the alien experience is rooted in a pervasive darkness and tension, with the capacity to shock by tapping into our primal fears. Every desperate breath into the rebreather of your spacesuit may be your last, but it is very primal, isn't it? There's something about the very primal fears of, for instance, a, a, a Xeno species that's like defiling your body and, and like impregnating you, and then this thing is growing. It's it's kind of it, it's getting pretty rapey, you know. Um, 
sci-fi action you know it's very much rooted in sci-fi you've got skills there like um, like heavy machinery as an actual you know one of your actual skills on the skills list so you know it's a it's a big deal it's not you're not going to be able to find that in in, in fantasy um, and finally you know sense of wonder strange worlds ancient incomprehensible artifacts on a grand scale you can grapple with questions of humanity's creation, you know, a la Prometheus, um, uh, destiny and place in the universe, which, you know, very, very real ideas for us all. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. And next video, we'll look at the character sheet itself.